Okay, so the charge controller came in. I guess it's made in China. It's 12 and 24 volt LED, 20 amps. Uh, it's a PWM, so nothing fancy. This was less than 25 bucks. I'll go ahead and open it up. Now we got this one because it had the USB ports, so I was going to do something with that. So I'm going to go ahead and just hook this up to the, and give it a little test. Alright, okay, so I connected the, uh, what is this called again, solar controller. I found a, on one of my old battery backup unit for the PC and stuff. I took the battery out because this one, the battery's not working well, so... It doesn't hold this charge too much, so I just took it out, but at least it's, it's running, it's working. Currently getting 13.2 volts. I connected the pump to the USB, and here's the flow that it's getting. But right now, the battery can't hold the charge, so I can't plug anything extra into Like if I plug this for the other battery bank, it just depletes the battery. So the there's not a lot of battery in it and right now the solar panel is in the shade and that's the voltage that you got so I think when the sun moves to it I'm probably gonna be able to generate uh, more power so maybe I can connect a second USB device into it but as you can see it's working now I couldn't get it working without a battery that is why I got the old UPS battery out because I think it requires some sort of battery to just even have this on. So, there you go. That's the solar controller. Solar controller, the Moho, I think it was called. Moho solar controller, about 23 bucks. And next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start moving the aquaponics and the solar panel all into the uh, pa patio area. So if you guys uh, want to see more video on this, just go ahead and subscribe and, and like this uh, video.